Good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, my darlings, and happy day, everybody. Good morning, my loves. Good morning. Let me show you the outfit of the day, and let's cover a couple things real quick. Here's the outfit of the day. Linen pants, a night my naked tank top, which I love so much. And this outfit today, guys, will definitely come in handy because it's supposed to be 94 degrees here in anything. I hate it, but okay, it's better than snow. I'm trying to embrace the summer. I'm trying to embrace the summer. I'm trying to embrace the heat because I hate winter, hate it. So here's the outfit of the day. Gorgina, Gorgina, Gorgina. Um, so today, guys, is very, very exciting. Real quick, so you're only getting two vlogs this week, only because I got really, really sick on Wednesday. Wednesday morning, actually, it really hit me, and I was sick all day Wednesday, I was sick all day Thursday, and then yesterday, Friday, I finally started feeling better, but I still took the day to rest and recuperate and get my strength back, because today, judging by the title of this video, Today, we are going to the largest thrift store in the United States. Are you excited? I think it's the, the largest thrift store in the United States or the largest thrift store in America. Is there a difference? I don't know if there is. But about a week and a half ago, maybe longer, maybe two weeks, I saw this TikTok. Now, I'm going to show it to you guys, but I don't think I'm able to put the sound in because there's copyrighted music, but I'll show you the TikTok here. Thrift looking at the largest thrift store in the United States. This is the Community Aid in Zealand Grove, Pennsylvania, and it is 74,000 square feet of thrift space. It's a little overwhelming, and I've never found any clothes here, but there's a lot of other interesting stuff. So there's the TikTok I saw, and this girl said that the largest thrift store in the United States was in Sealands Grove, PA, which is only an hour away from us. So I was like, JB, we have to go. Now, we couldn't go last weekend, so we were very, very busy. So we allotted today, Saturday, the 21st, to go. We're going really early. I want, Of course, I wanted to ask my best friend Angie to come, but I knew she had work. So I asked Trish and Sam to come. Sam, unfortunately, can't make it, but Trish is coming with us. You guys know my friend Trish. Everyone needs a friend named Trish. Trish is fabulous. She's amazing. Um, and I figured, also, we'll go scope it out, and if it's something that we want to do again and go to again, a big group of us could go, and we could go check it out, and I'll just go scope it out first. What is... Something's on... Uh, oh, it's a hair. It's a hair. But I figured, we'll go. We'll go scope it out, and if it's really, really cool then we'll all go. And the girl in that TikTok said that she doesn't usually find a lot of clothes there, that she usually finds a lot of thrifted items, like items that you could like redo or DIY. I'm hoping to find clothes there. I'm also hoping to find items. Good thing I just cleaned out my trunk. Cleaned out my trunk Wednesday. I powered through it before I got really sick. So. But yes, it's supposed to be 95 degrees today. We're going to Sealands Grove, PA, which I've been to Sealands Grove, PA twice before. Um, my friend uh, Charlotte went to college there. So um, I've been there twice before, but only really like around her college and stuff. I've never been out in Sealands Grove. That's basically it. I'm super, super excited. And then later on, my best friend Angie is coming over. So we're going to hang out. I think we're making any pasta tonight. Also, JB made his first homemade stromboli last night. And it was fabulous. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. So he's going to be showing you guys how to make that in a future video. I just want to let you guys know. But I wanted to get it on camera last night, but I was just, I wasn't doing good, guys. I needed to regain my energy. I had to regain it. So in the future, and plus he wanted to make it first to do like trials and errors, but it came out banging banging so we'll definitely do a video on that soon but i uh, we're just waiting for trish to get here and then we're heading out i know trish has work later at the escape room um so we're just waiting on her and that's why we're going so early in the day because she has work later but she still really really wanted to come so we're just waiting on trish and then we're gonna be hitting the road and heading to sealand's grove pa to go to the largest thrift store in the usa america whatever it's the largest thrift store and i am so excited i just wonder what it's gonna be like i'm trying not to build it up too much in my head anyway well it, it's it's hot it is so hot guys so let's wait for trish and i'll see you guys in a little bit hi rider Oh. oh, all right. 
I swear my children love me. <laughs> hey y'all, we're on our way. There's JB. Hello. There he is. And there's Trish. <laughs> Trish, what do you think about going to the largest thrift store in the... Is there a difference between USA and America? Can I say the largest in America? Okay. Yeah. That's all. Um, I'm surprised it's here. Me too. <laughs> For the largest thrift store in America is in Northeast PA. Sounds sounds like a lie. And it's 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 it sounds like a something very questionable. Like I feel like I have to look into it. Yeah. Because I always I would expect. Well, I looked it up and you were right. It came up right away. See, that's so strange to me. Hmm. I wonder if it's because the building it's in. Like, I wonder is it the largest because it's the biggest building, or is it the largest because of all the stuff? describing largest. Mm -hmm. Because the one in wilkes is really big. Like the old Kmart one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Across from Red Lobster. That one's huge. Yeah, it's it a where And actually, I have to say the Salvation Army in Hanover is humongous. Yeah, it's in an it old is. warehouse. So how big is this? But, uh... I guess we'll find out. I wonder if there's multiple floors. I think there is. Okay. I think there is. Fun. Which is very curious. I mean, even the one in Hazleton is big. Like the, the Salvation Army. Hazel, oh, like yeah. Floors. Mm -hmm. like, that's pretty big. No, that is pretty big. No, I agree. I guess but that's what I mean. I know. I'm so curious. What is, I have a question for you. Okay. What is your favorite thing you've ever thrifted? Ooh. In Hazleton, for some reason, you can always find good National Park t shirts. I don't know why. I don't know how many people from Hazleton are going across the country and going to national parks, but I have found four to five different like cozy long sleeve Ooh, national park love shirts that. and hoodies so good because mm -hmm. i've been to these places but i never fucking bought anything all i had to do was go to hazelton and that's such a good idea though <laughs> <laughs> i know every time i go to a new city i go to their thrift store because i don't want to buy a new shirt <laughs> somebody else's shit that they bought well i have to say souvenir shirts and stuff like that are expensive they are they're always like 30 bucks oh <laughs> Justin's a wild man today, y'all. Well, I love getting furniture. I have a Me couple too. pieces of furniture that I I look at and I'm like, that was good. Mm -hmm. That was good that I got that. I would have to say mine is my green couch because that was oh. such a steal. And every time I sit on it, I'm like, I can't believe I got this couch for $25. And I love it. It's like my favorite thing. And actually, because you had a couple, I have to say this back. Because, was I with you? I think so. And I see us. Yes. Or no, maybe that no. was the time. No, no, it was with, I was with Lisa. I was with Lisa because we were trying to do a $20 limit. And I just hit, I think I was at $13 and this bag was six. It was like half off day or something like that. But I always get compliments on that bag. Yeah, I And I, I can't believe I got it for six bucks. Yeah. So how far, ooh. Smells like cat pee around just, here. Smells <laughs> like cat pee around here. <laughs> Where did that come from? That's why I went ooh. Yeah, what the Do they have a lot of cats around here? <laughs> oh my god! There would have to be thousands of cats peeing right here. Why do we smell this? I don't know. Near the river. Oh, maybe it's the river. Hmm. All right. great. <laughs> Not great first impression so far. Mm -mm. No. Oh, it's the Danville Boat Club. That's who smells like that. <laughs> Just saying how nice it is down here, y'all. This is Northumberland. Oh, this is Northumberland? Mm -hmm. uh, oh, look at that house. The what? The scientist who discovered oxygen, his uh, homestead is here. But I don't know if we passed on this road or the road going back out. But the scientist who it, discovered yeah, oxygen? Actually, it's, uh, yeah, it's the, the old, old log, log house. But it's the Joseph Priestley house. Wow. Oh, shit, I should have here. Oh, that's okay. We're just getting another a more... Sorry, guys, I'm not focusing the camera a lot. That's okay, we just get to see more of it. Black currants and even lilies give a distinct odor similar to cat urine. Hmm. Well, lilies, are lilies coming up yet? 
I don't know, but what aren't those purple and white plants? Aren't those money plants? No, that's um. We're trying to figure out where the cat pee smell is coming from because we just smelled it again, and we've been in. We're seven. <laughs> we're seven minutes away, and it went away, but then we started smelling again. But we are by the river again, so we don't know if it's the river or some kind of plant around here. And Trish looked up plants. And there are plants that smell like cat pee. Oh, there's everyone has a boat club around here. There's another boat club. It's like there's a Someone. river around here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have boat clubs around us. Do we have a river? What river do we have near us? Susquehanna, but it's, it's kind of far. Yeah, it's shallower there too. Around here, they have there's a. I think they have a lot more boating activity. They're very active in the yeah. boating lifestyle. Well, yeah, the river's deeper too. Mm. Six minutes away. We're here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We're talking about eating. We're like, we're we're hungry. We're trying to find somewhere to go. Oh, there is a Taco Bell. Here we are. It is really big. Wow. <laughs> it is. Look at it. it. Goes all the way down to there. And it doesn't seem that You're busy. busy no. Oh, this is a furniture store down here. The Hazleton near Koya parking lot is busier than. <laughs> 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 oh. Hmm. Oh, that had to be the Amish. The Amish. That was the Amish. Tricked me out. I thought there was spaces. Down, but that's all I have so far. JB is done. I think Trish is still looking, but I have to edit down my card. But this place, dude, guys, is just absolutely fabulous. I love it here. Love it here. This is definitely going to become like a twice a year trip. 1000%. There's skeeters up there, y'all. That's where we're going to eat. Oh, there's the sign. Skeeter's Barbecue, that's where we're going to eat. And we're going up here because there's a view and you could sit outside. This is a mountain, oh my God. Okay, all done, there's Skeeter's. We have the air blasting because it is very, very hot. There's Skeeter's. Eh, it doesn't look too busy. Pretty cool. All right, guys, we're at Skeeters. There's JP and there's Swish. And look at the view. Take a look at it. Take a look at it. Take a look, take a gander. Take a gander. Take a, take a look at the beautiful view. I'll let you guys know when our order comes out because I'll let you know what we all got. Vlog what you got. Fish and chips. Roasted veggies, coleslaw, I'm Those assuming that's tartar. Veggies look amazing. Yeah, right? Wow. Okay. I got a brisket sandwich. Mm -hmm. Wow, Looks look good. at that. Coleslaw. I got that a chicken. Really good. A smoked chicken sa Ooh. A smoked chicken salad on a bed of greens with their house dressing. And I'm guessing this is cornbread. And then these wings, which I don't even know what that sauce is, but they didn't ask, they didn't give me an option. <laughs> Barbecue. <laughs> um, <laughs> they all, they're all the same. So we'll have to try those at some point, but I want to try this chicken salad. Get those veggies in a wrap too. Mm -hmm. And I was curious about that. Um, okay, let me try this. This chicken salad looks good. If anyone wants any, please help yourself. I will never eat this whole thing. 
Mmm, the green's so good too. I don't get a smoke taste from it, but it's a pretty good chicken salad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get smokiness from it. It looks like they put some kind of like paprika or a powder on it. But I don't really taste it. It's still good though, as far as chicken salad stuff. I actually grabbed this honey because I thought I was going to have to put it on my wings because they didn't ask me <laughs> what I wanted. Okay, I have to try one of these. I'm very curious. Maybe it's like a house wing and so they're all like the same. They're hot. You can smell it. It's like mine. Oh, I meant like temperature oh, wise. Oh. <laughs> smell the spice. I don't really smell anything. Hmm. Maybe it is like a honey. I don't know. That's what it looks like. Whole sauce pretty good. Maybe like a sweet and sour, kind of, or like a sweet and spicy. Yeah, please try what Justin's. I can. You're be you're you're better at pinpointing it than I am. Hmm. What do you get from that? It's like a sweet barbie. Yeah. Mmm, the sweet barbecue, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to look it up and see what they put on this. And Trish, you said the coleslaw's good? Yeah, the mm. coleslaw's good. I'm gonna try it out. Let me try yours, Jamie. Mm, yeah, go ahead. Ooh, it's nice and chunky, too. I like that. Is this like a chain? Mm hmm. No. Mm. It's very well put together. Mm -hmm. That's why I thought it was like a chain. Mmm. That is good. Well, guys, this place is a five out of five. We're gonna talk a little bit. Are you enjoying our lunch, JB? Oh, okay. You don't look like it's very good. <laughs> How do you like the lunch, Trish? I'm almost done, so. Eaters is a five out of five. Delicious. Chris just got my Starbucks order. It is delicious. You like it? Mm -hmm. Listen, y'all. <laughs> Dante Trish just takes pictures <laughs> and shows them to the people. He doesn't even know what he's ordering. <laughs> so I just went with it because I like that kind of style. It's just so quirky, guys. <laughs> She loves popcorn flavored <laughs> coffee and popcorn flavored jelly beans. That's my friend Trash. <laughs> no, but the girl, I showed her the picture. I said, oh, I'll take this. And she goes, because we're at a different Starbucks. And she goes, oh, you can just read it to me. And I was like. Dante was like, no, I can't. <laughs> but I was like, I don't know if I could read this to you. No idea. I think that's yours, JB. Yeah, I think it's Anyway, but it was so funny. I can't stop crying laughing. Right? So, so, yeah, two so three, funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I couldn't read it to her. So she ended up having to take my phone and read it. Or put it in herself. Thank you. And here's mine. There it is. We're back home, but Trish is gonna put her stuff in her car, but she's gonna show you guys what she got at, uh, what was this place called? Whatever thrift store. Yeah. <laughs> the largest thrift yeah. store. <laughs> I got 
these for work. Oh, I love that. Classic. I saw those in your bag and I thought, oh, yeah. that's a good find. And then I'm going to make these into shorts. Oh, I was hoping you were going to get a pair of jeans. Yeah. Love Men's that. Men's tough rustler jeans. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, how can I pass up? A manatee shirt. I love that. Manatee shirt. Manatees forever. I love that. It looks That's so it. comfy. It does. Well, you got a lot of good finds, dude. Yeah. Cool. All right, time to bring my stuff in. You want me to get it? No, no. I want you in the shot. So I was just trying to see. Okay, I can see I'm back here and still hold it up and stuff. Okay, guys. Anyway, we're trying to set up. Um, I want to show you guys what I got at the thrift store. So I'm going to start with the non-clothes first. Yeah. Hold on it. So I got this pink charger. There you go. It was $1.99. I thought that was a good find. This is the curling iron. I told Trish about it. I wanted, I think this is a one inch barrel. I think it is. It looks like it. But I was saying to Trish, I've always wanted to try using a curling iron. I only use a wand, and we were actually saying we're not sure how much of a difference there is. But I see so many girls. Like, I feel like everyone used the wand. And then I've had a wand for a couple years. And now everyone's using curling irons mm -hmm. again. It's like the strangest thing. So I wanted one, but I said to Trish, I didn't want to pay $30 for one. Like, or 20 bucks or anything like that. Because I don't know how much I'm going to like it better than my wand. Um, so this one was only 4 bucks. So I grabbed that. This is why I said to JB on the way home that I need to... Yeah, when I said to JB, we need to get a plant that I could hang, I found this. And it's like a plant hanger. That's really cute. It's just it like this tape. And then you put cute. the plant yeah, right down the here. There. So perfect. And of course, it's my favorite color pink. So there you go. And then these are just jars that I found for our dried goods in the kitchen. Got this big one. And that it was three bucks. And then I got this one, which was two ninety nine, so three bucks. But this one seems plastic delicate. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I had to get this book. Because I found it very, very funny, and I still do. And GB actually took a picture of me holding this book in the thrift store. I'll insert it here. And I just thought it was so 80s, and it is. And it's Elizabeth Taylor. Elizabeth takes on weight But see, that's the thing where it confuses me. It says Elizabeth takes on on <laughs> weight gain, weight loss, self-image, and self-esteem. So Elizabeth Taylor, t Elizabeth takes on, on weight gain, weight loss, self-image, and self-esteem. I'm curious about what uh, Elizabeth Taylor has to say about that show. A true American hero. I, I don't know how she does it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on the clothes, I got this little top. Ooh, and it's the color. And it's the color, linen pants. But it's a nice little pink, like, wrap top. The store was really, really cool. But there was not a shirt in there for, like, under... Not many shirts in there for under, like, five, six bucks. Mm -hmm. Not one. Not one. You weren't finding, like, a $1.99 uh, no shirt in there. No army prices here. And the color today was pink. But between the both of us, we didn't see one pink tag. Not one. So Our I don't know. Sales if, are fake. Yeah, false advertising. Mm -hmm. We're calling the cops. <laughs> um, I'm writing an email. <laughs> so and then I got this black top just because it looked comfy, and this is always Grace. I don't know. Oh, I love that. Very witchy. With a, with a pair of khaki um, linen pants. Could dress it up. You know, or I can white. even wear this tomorrow. Or white. That's a good idea. Do you love that? It's Lauren Codrad Triple XL. Mm -hmm. Or not Triple XL, Double XL $5.99. And it's Lauren Conrad. And I got it because of the pink and the blue and all of that. And I love the sleeves. That's another yeah. reason. I love yes. these kind of Very sleeves. Very Britney Spears ish. <laughs> there is not a long sleeve midriff, pair of denim shorts, or a pair of boots that Britney Spears does not love. That's her... That's or has taken a picture in. No, that's her uniform. That's what she constantly <laughs> wears. Um, or those Ooh, peasant this, tops. Yes. 
Yes. See if this was cropped. Did it? Yeah, if this was cropped, <laughs> Britney Spears would wear this. But I got that one <laughs> by Design One X five ninety nine. So Very again, five ninety nine, six ninety nine. You'll see a trend, and then it has the sleeves too. Mm -hmm. the again, I was more looking for summer stuff. I don't have a lot of summer stuff. It's definitely flowy. Oh, that one too. Faded Glory three ninety nine. Oh wait, pink. This must have been the two ninety nine yeah. one I got. Yeah, we lied. So there's we're liars. There you go. <laughs> I got this one. I okay. thought for a funny picture okay, or something. Okay, I think you could, uh, this would be Barb and Star would wear this in that movie. Barb and Star go to Del Mar. So okay. I got this one, $3.99. I don't know, I just thought like I could pull it off with something or if there was like a theme, like a theme party or something, I don't know. And then I got this one, which is just a bell top flowy just to run around in that one was $3.99 and it's Walmart brand that also Barb and Star goes Barb and Star Mark. a little pink moment a little pink muscle shirt uh collared like polo like for when we go play golf cute little tank top oh yeah I think that's really cute flowy I hope it fun. fits it's a medium but I figured since it's flowy it might fit so I had to get because I have the other version of this um, from a, a new day from Target, but it's like, it's this, but it's not see-through. Okay. You get what I mean? Yeah. And it is so comfortable. I, w and I, can, I never found them again, and I only have one of them. But that one, and you guys know that, it's my favorite shirt. A new day, and I got it at Target, and it's a muscle shirt, but this one's see-through. The other one's not. It's like more like a athletic material with a pair of black pants or linen pants or something or to run around in which i don't know why i got this I, I i really don't and then this is the one i wanted to show you oh yeah that's that color love love that color i just hope it's gonna fit it's a large and there it is but it's express so i'm hoping it fits i figured because it's flowy I have a good chance. Like, that's a lot of room. Yeah, that's what oh, I got. Okay. Yeah. Wow, you're really straight out of your comfort zone here. With what? Pink and black tank tops. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I went really, no. I did have a yellow. Everything you got was pink and black. Well, that's all I wear is pink I and know, black. I know, I know. But I did have a yellow top in my cart, but I put it back. Because it just, it wasn't, it, was, it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me. So thanks for coming thrifting with us, guys. Toodaloo. Bye. Toodaloo, mother. Boy. All right, all right, all right. We are out on the back porch. I have a fan blowing on me because it's really hot and my makeup just looks so good. And JB's over there in his chair. And we're just, ooh, ooh. You guys, are, if you just want to see my breasts, just ask. Um, we're sitting out here waiting for Angie to come over. She's not coming over for like a couple more hours. So I said to GB, I want to go outside and try to embrace the heat and enjoy the summer. But I do have a fan here. Jane, there you go. It's blowing on me. It's keeping me cool. I run hot. What is going on with my face? Why do I look insane? Do I look crazy? I'm going to have to touch. I'm getting all caught up on everything. Guys, when we were in Sealand's Grove, we saw a couple Weiss. And I said to JB, I said, wow, they have a lot of Weiss around here. You know, our favorite grocery store, which is supposed to be opening soon. I haven't heard anything about it, though. But JB failed to tell me until we left that we were near the Weiss headquarters. Yeah. Mima would have loved to have seen that. <laughs> I'm sure my subscribers would have loved to have seen it too. Because so. we're big fans of Weiss around here. So. Anyway, that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to chill. I have um, a tumbler filled with water to keep it cold. And GB's making any pasta tonight. Some any pasta salads. Or just any pastas. And we're going to wait for Angie to come over. So that's the plan. And yeah. So, I'll talk to you in a little bit. It's hot, guys. And I just took a shower. I said to GP, I shouldn't, I shouldn't even bothered. I shouldn't even bothered. Anyway, I changed it out in some 
satin PJs and a little v-neck. Um, Angie just got here. Oh my God, I feel like I need a towel. <laughs> hey, what? look at this spread. We're having any pots, guys. And look at this spread JB has prepared for us. Look at that. Oh my god, and dressing, homemade any pasta dressing. Mm, fresh basil and fresh oregano. I can't wait to try that. <laughs> oh, this looks fabulous. All right, let me make up my plate, and then I want to try that dressing. Look at that antipasto, y'all. JB, mm -hmm. how's your antipasto? Very good. I'm sorry, I'm too focused Just on the carpenter bee. Oh, it's fine. He won't hurt you. All right, let's try this dressing. He won't hurt you. I have to try JB's antipasto dressing. Let's try it. All right, I have a... Mmm. I like that dressing. Mm -hmm. It's like mild. Like it's not like crazy or anything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like pairs perfectly. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. I don't think it's a big piece of bread. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hi guys. So, it is Sunday morning guys. I didn't get a chance to end the vlog last night. Angie didn't end up leaving till 10 30 but we had such a good convo and stuff um she didn't end up leaving till 10 30 and then by the time i cleaned up out here from the annie post and all of that it was like 11 o'clock and i was just like i'll end the vlog tomorrow um and i'm gonna end it now before i start filming for sunday's vlog which i'm super excited for you guys to see but before i end saturday's vlog on sunday that you guys are gonna see monday so confusing so so confusing i wanted to tell you a quick story from yesterday at the community aid thrift store that happened to me that i didn't get a chance to tell you guys yesterday thrifting with trish was uh, trish is a blast let me just first of all say that i love my friend trish i always say everyone needs a friend like trish we couldn't stop laughing yesterday and just having a good time i am so lucky to have a friend like trish and have a friend like her for so so long and Trish, I just love her so much. And we just had a blast yesterday going thrifting and going for lunch. And I'm so happy I was able to share that experience of going to the world's largest or the America's largest thrift store or whatever with my friend Trish. So let me just put it that way. Um, but it's what happened yesterday at the thrift store that I wanted to tell you guys about. So Justin was done thrifting and he went out to the car. Trish was done thrifting and she went outside, but she didn't go to the car. She didn't know Justin was out in the car. So she was just sitting outside on a bench, but she said she didn't mind. It was very, very hot, but Trish loves the heat. She's, she's from Florida. So Trish loves the heat and I'm trying to embrace it myself. Um, they were outside and I was in a blackout thrifting and stuff. So I was looking at a rack of clothes before I was going to walk up to the register. Oh, I look rough guys. Look at all my freckles though. Oh, what's that? Um, so I would, so I was looking at a rack of <laughs> so so I was looking at a rack of clothes, guys, before I was ready to check out, and I turned my cart, and as I turned my cart, I noticed this teenager kind of walking towards me, and I was like, "Oh, okay, like what's going on?" And but then they passed me and stopped, and I was like, "Oh, okay." I was like, huh. "All right, maybe they're the the fitting rooms are right behind me." So I was like, "Oh, maybe they're waiting for someone in the fitting rooms." So I kept walking forward, and as I'm walking forward, shh, shh, shh. Um. So as I was walking forward was editing my cart. I had a bunch of stuff in my cart. So I was editing what I wanted to take, what I wanted to leave, blah, 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 blah. So then I put my hands in my cart after editing and I start walking and all of a sudden I hear, excuse me. And I turned around and there's this, there's a teenager right there. Um, um, I don't like saying a teenager, but a younger person standing there and a very, very cute younger person. And they said to me, I just wanted to let you know that you are so beautiful or, or, or handsome, whatever one you identify with. And I just wanted to come up and tell you that. And I said, oh my God, I said, thank you so much. I mean, if they saw me now, they probably wouldn't say the same thing. Um, 
but they just they said that to me and I said oh thank you so much and and I always get nervous when people come up to me so I said so I was like you know what Dante start a conversation with them so I said what's your name and they said my name is Wyatt and from what I could see from them is that they are um a non-binary teenager you know uh, they uh of someone that identifies as a, a like they them or that's what i thought you know and i identify as he him they them those are my pronouns um so i was like oh my gosh so i said what's your name they said wyatt and i was like oh i love this so much i love it so much and they said well hi wyatt i said i'm dante and we talked about what was in our carts and the clothes we were getting and I told them to add me on TikTok and they did, which was really, really cool. And then as I was walking up to the register, I heard them go back to their friends and go, we had a full conversation. And it just, it makes me feel so good and it could make me <laughs> cry. It just made me smile and made me feel really good. And thank you, Wyatt, if you're watching this, thank you for coming up to me because whenever someone comes up to me it just makes me feel like i'm on the right path and i'm doing the right thing so it just felt really really good and i met a new friend and it was a lot of fun and it just made me again feel really really good that such nice people feel comfortable enough to come up to me and talk to me and it just it makes me feel really good I it was just a very, very nice day, and I'm very, very lucky, um, and I just got done writing in my gratitude list for this morning, Sunday, and I'm I'm just very thankful for my friendship in Trish and my friendship in Angie and JB, and what a beautiful day, and I was even thankful for Wyatt in my gratitude list because I'm very, very lucky and blessed. Thankful, grateful, and blessed, guys. Thankful, grateful, and blessed. But the day was very, very good all around, going thrifting with Trish, going for lunch, then coming home, having a beautiful Annie Pasto dinner prepared by my talented and amazing husband, and then eating that and sitting with my best friend and talking about life's and life dreams and goals and and like-minded stuff and and no negativity and and all of that and it just makes me very grateful for my life and very grateful for the people I surround myself with and I'm just so thankful, grateful, and blessed. So I'm gonna go now, guys. Enough of me talking. I just want to tell you guys that story. Yesterday was a blast. I can't wait to go back to that thrift store. I said it's definitely gonna be like a couple trips a year kind of thing and definitely go back to Skeeter's for lunch because that was amazing. And yeah, so I'm going to go get ready for Sunday, guys, because today's a fun-filled day, too. So you guys will hear about that in tomorrow's vlog. But I love you guys so, so much. I'm also very, very thankful for you guys. So never forget that. Never forget that. I tell you this all the time, but I hope you don't forget. But I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for being here, and thank you for watching. Thank you for watching on your phone, in your home, or on your tablets. And I hope you have a great morning, afternoon, or night whenever you watch me. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart, and you will definitely see me tomorrow. So until the next one, yoo-hoo, bye-bye.